Hi guys, it's Sammy GFX here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create, um, how to blend in flares with text. And yes, I'm back. It's been a while, and I'm trying to get back into GFX, but well, I'll see how I go. So, um, well, first, um, you want to download these two flares. Well, I have, I might have a few more, and there will be a link in the description for these. And I'm going to be using these two. And yeah, you want Photoshop. And yeah, so in the end, it should look like this. Should look something like that. And yeah, so let's get started. First, you want to go to Photoshop. Go to File, New, and you want to make it 1280 by 720 and make sure that background is white just hit ok you want to unlock that by double clicking it and press ok make sure your foreground colour is black and you want to hit command i or control i and you want to go to the text tool and you want to swap these over and you can do whatever you font you like but I like the font impact and it should be automatically on Photoshop. And I'm just gonna just leave it size 30 for now. And you just wanna write whatever you like. So I'm gonna write 7 GFX. Then if you press the layer, go Command T or Control T and press Shift and just extend that. Um, you can really have it as big as you want. So yeah, you can make it a bit bigger. It's really up to you with the size. Um, I might make that a little bit smaller. That's good enough. Um, you do want to press enter or return on the Mac, and you want to make sure your text layer is selected. Press Control A or Command A. Um, you want to go to the Moves tool or whatever you want to call that, and just hit Issue. And they, those two will just center it. And you want to hit Control D or Command D, and they'll deselect. Um, so now you want to double click your text. You want to go to Gradient Overlay, and you want to make this a nice blue. So for the bottom, you want to try to have a dark, a darker color, and. This will just give it an effect. Um, hit OK. And with your second one, you want to make that light. Something like that. And now you want to go to outer glow and press that. And then you want to make this, wait, sorry, you want to press that one here, and just get it, give it a nice blue, something like that, um, 00D2FF, it should look nice, um, press OK, and you want to make that size 9, but it's really up to you with the size, you can play around with it, see what you like, but I think size 9, um, gives it a good effect. So you want to press OK and you want to get your flares. So the first flare I'm using is this one. There will be a link in the description. And you want to bring that into Photoshop. And you can just turn that around. Let's do it. And just bring it over here and press enter or return. Um, you want to change that to screen. And that just gives it a nice effect and you want to bring that behind the text. So you want to hit control T or command C and you can just play around with this. So 
yeah, you want to extend it, do whatever you like to it. So, yeah, it's really up to you what you want to do with the players. So, I like doing it pretty big up here. And just hit enter or turn when you like it. And you want to get um, the rubber out, the brush tool. Well, yeah, whatever you want to call it. And you want to make sure the hardness is zero. And it's pretty small, a decent size. Pretty small, I guess. And you want to make sure there's no corners. And just fix it up. So, you can really do whatever you like with this. It's really, it's up to you, what you like. So I'm just going to leave it like that, so it's not a long tutorial. Then you want to get your second flare. And you can add as many flares as you like, but this is just how I like to do it. And this is going to be your bottom flare. So I'm going to bring that down here. And probably check it there. Um, I'm going to hit Ctrl T or Command T. Hold shift and yeah and so you can just play around with that you can really do whatever you like so I'm going to leave it like that so yeah just play around with the rubber as well just make sure everything looks nice I guess with this one it blends in with the black so that's it with the flares in your text and now you want to give a little effect to the background so you can do whatever you really like with this, but just an easy way with me. Um, so you want to hit that one there, black and white, press OK. And you want to go to the third one there, the angle gradient. You want to go to the top corner, hold shift, and just um, scroll out and let go. And that gives it a nice effect. Oh. So you want to, first you have to go to your background layer, sorry about that, and you're going to do it in your background layer, and just go to about halfway, and yeah, that gives it a nice effect, and yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, I hope you like this tutorial, please subscribe, don't hate, and um, yeah, if you want a tutorial on anything, or got any ideas, just PM me, and um, I might be starting to make new U um, free YouTube backgrounds. So yeah, PM me if you would like them. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys.